In this lesson, learn about the setup to enable the mobile app. To complete this setup, you must have an SQL administrator login for Sage 100 Contractor. If you do not have these rights, talk with someone at your company who can assist. If your company is on a subscription license for Sage 100 Contractor, you will have access to the simple time entry menu options in Sage 100 Contractor. In the previous lesson, you learned about 566 time entry settings that you need to assign for the mobile app. You also need to complete some setup in database administration to create the connection for the mobile app before you can invite users or use the mobile app. In database administration, select server management, then select enable Sage mobile apps. The program connection uses Microsoft Azure Active Directory Application Proxy, or AADAP, to connect to the mobile applications. This requires configuration in the Azure Cloud and installed components on your server. This is a two-step process. The first step is to request the Azure Active Directory, or Azure AD, this sends a request to a group at Sage that completes the configuration process. After the setup is complete, Sage uses the email for the primary contact on your account and replies to the request with an email that includes security information you need to continue with the setup in database administration. This email should arrive within minutes of the request. Be sure to check your spam and junk email folders. As a note, you cannot request this if you do not have a subscription-based license for your software. To verify, in Sage 100 Contractor, select the Home and Resources tab, then select About Sage 100 Contractor. The mobile tools and app displays a checkmark when the module is active. If you try to request the Azure AD and you are not on a subscription license, you receive an error message with the following content. When you click the button, if database administration cannot locate the license server, you may receive a prompt to select a license server. The information on the screen changes slightly and a message displays to wait for a confirmation email. You receive two emails. The first is a courtesy notice. The second email you receive looks similar to the one shown here. Click Activate AAD License to begin. The Sage Subscription Agreement page displays. Type the first and last name of the primary contact for the Azure subscription. The email address is where the follow-up email with credentials is sent. The phone is optional. Select the box that you agree and then confirm. A message displays with the order status that states you'll receive a Get Started with Azure Active Directory email at that address. That email contains login information and next steps. The email begins with a thank you for subscribing to Azure statement. In the email, you'll find the login credentials for the administrator account and a temporary password. Click Update AAD account to begin. Two screens for Microsoft Online display and prompt for your login credentials. First, the administrator account login, then a prompt for the password. Enter the temporary password from the email that you received. Next, Microsoft prompts for a password change. Type the original password, then provide a new one and confirm. After you confirm your login credentials, another window displays to confirm the permissions requested. Review the information and select the appropriate boxes. Then click Accept. The web page for Sage Business Center displays while your request processes. When it completes, you receive a confirmation that your Azure Active Directory is ready to use. 
When the activation completes, you can install the proxy. This takes you to the second step in the process, which is to install proxy on the server. For this process, there are two main areas for the setup. One is the file configurations for the web API to communicate with the server. The second part is the Azure components in the cloud. Click Install Proxy to begin. Accept the message about how long the process could take. The next prompt displays for the Azure Active Directory sign-in. Type the information to sign in to Azure. Then, an important next step is to select the box to remember and never expire this password. If you do not select this, the Azure password expires after 90 days and you receive an email from Microsoft. The program begins to process the requests for this step. You see the status messages in the lower part of the window. Initially, this validates the credentials for Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Then it begins the 26-step process. Next, the program goes through some of the IIS components. The message in the lower part of the screen shows the current task and status of the steps. There are several things that happen during this process, and it can take several minutes. The program continues to verify the Windows features and turning on IIS components. Next, it sets up the Azure Active Directory application proxy. When everything completes, you see a message waiting for Microsoft to allocate resources, and a 30-minute timer starts. During this time, Microsoft completes the cloud setup. You cannot continue until the proxy install finishes. When the install and setup processes are complete, the database administration window changes to show several buttons with an uninstall proxy option in place of the install proxy button. There is a diagnostic tools panel with options to restart AADAP, test AADAP, stop server API, test server API, and open log file. Then you see the state of the two primary components, the AADAP services and the server API, which is on the IIS side. The status should be running for both of these. When you click Test AADAP, the status shows at the bottom of the screen and returns a message if it is working as expected or not. You can also click Test Server API to ensure it is also working as expected. The log file provides diagnostics. Keep in mind, if you uninstall and reinstall Sage 100 Contractor after you complete this process, you need to return to Enable Sage Mobile Apps in Database Administration and click Reinstall Server API. The button changes to provide a way to do this. This goes through the 26-step process again, but you do not have to wait for Microsoft to allocate resources this time. While you complete the reinstall process, the mobile devices cannot connect to the server. At this point, you can use the mobile app connection with simple time entry. In this lesson, you learned about the mobile app connection setup through database administration. Continue to the next lesson to learn how to invite users to the simple time entry mobile app.